Uh, hello, Sixth Tree. Uh, today's lesson is very similar to last week's and this week's. Uh, so it's just simply uh, you're going to have your teaching points, which is like your main key points for the lesson, uh, questions to follow through. As always, if you have a device where you can uh, write on your notes, you may. If you can print them, also that works. Or you can you can simply download the file and type your responses. All right, so if you download the PowerPoint, OK? Um, your instructions are to write down the title, objective, and then answer the do not question. In your notes, right here at the top right, you see three things. It's a see, think, and wonder. What do you see? Uh, what do you think happened? And then the third thing is wonder, what questions do you have? So take a few uh, minutes, take about uh, four to five minutes to look at this picture. And I know it's very controversial, but uh, this is very powerful. Um, image that actually shook the world. Um, this sent a lot of ramifications for Africa. Okay. Now, if you look at the title, it talks about poverty and health in African nations, and the objective will be to analyze conflicts to determine root causes, including unlimited government and political instability, and consider solutions. All right, just a quick say a few. Okay, what are the three things you're going to be doing? Pause and then press play when you're ready. Okay, um, so if you reflect it, um, you should go straight to this. You're going to first write your title, adjective, and then answer the do not question. Okay, press pause, press play when you're done answering those three um, segments of the seed think wonder. All right, so the first part is what do you see? Okay, um, and this picture, what you see, okay, um, is a it's actually, this is a little girl. Um, who is, uh, you know, starving, okay? And in the background, okay, you'll see this vulture, okay? And, you know, the vulture is the archetype as uh, the animal that is uh, ready to uh, prey on living things that are about to die. And again, this is a, a, a very controversial, but I want you guys to keep in mind that there's a, there's a, how one image can really change the world, okay? Um, Uh, what do you think happened? Okay. So if you look at this picture, some of you guys might have arrived to the conclusion that, well, maybe um, she got lost. She wondered. Okay. Um, maybe there was a, uh, she was abandoned. Okay. Any of those sorts of responses could be a possibility. So what actually happened is that the UNICEF, UNICEF, remember, is the uh, United Nations um, program that is out there to set out to help out people uh, going through famines, um, uh, this photographer, okay, um, which is this individual right here, he took this picture. Uh, he was part of the UNICEF program, and he wanted to go help her, but the UNICEF were they were they were trained. They were told that hey, um, you cannot touch uh, anybody for, for the risk of simply transferring uh, or uh, exposing themselves to disease and unfortunately for this little girl she was crawling towards a um, a vehicle where there was food okay and she, um, she unfortunately she did not make it the photographer took this photograph uh, published it and it became like the photograph of the year um, the photographer went through um, a huge burden through this you know he reflected he just went through a breakdown after what he saw. But this picture kind of signifies what's going on in Africa. This has happened in uh, the early 90s and it's still ongoing. So this photograph represents what a lot of nations in Africa are going through, which is uh, malnutrition and famine. And that's what the lesson will be about today. Uh, for the third part, when I ask you guys to um, what questions you might have, okay, you can uh, type them in, in a message, send them to me directly, and I can answer those questions. And again, I, um, this is, again, this is a, a very powerful image that really woke up the world into what's going on in Africa. And a lot of people started to volunteer to help out the people in Africa. Okay. And this concludes our do now. So now we're going to be moving on to the lecture.